The forward and rear cabin doors of the A320 are equipped with slide rafts. The inflation and deployment sequence is automatically initiated when the door is opened in the armed configuration. The slide raft is ejected out of its container and remains folded by restraint devices which break at a determined pressure point to allow correct deployment. The slide raft is stowed in a container connected to the cabin door. As soon as the door handle is lifted, the door is pneumatically pushed open and the slide raft, fixed with a girt bar to the cabin floor, is pulled out of the container, drops down and inflates automatically. As the inflatable falls down, the inflation system is activated. The gas stored in the inflation cylinder is discharged through flexible hoses to the aspirators. The aspirator flaps open and ambient air is drawn in under partial vacuum created by the high velocity in the Venturi. Then the flaps close and the remaining gas tops up the inflatable to its operational pressure. Should the automatic inflation system fail, the slide raft must be inflated manually. For that, the red manual inflation handle located on the right-hand side of the girt extension must be pulled. A lighting system is fitted on both sides and also on the runway end of the inflatable. The power supply for this lighting system is provided from the cabin emergency power supply units. Two assist handles are located on both sides at the lower end of the inflatable to allow assisting people to hold on. In case of a ditching, prior to door opening the survival kit must be connected to the slide raft. The survival kit is stored in the nearest overhead bin. Place the survival kit on the floor forward of the door. and detach the lanyard from the girt bar. Pull the lanyard and the hook to snap on the front of the survival kit. Then open the door. The slide raft drops out of the container and deploys. If the slide raft has to be used as a raft, it must be disconnected from the cabin floor. To disconnect the slide raft, lift the flap on the girt extension and pull the disconnect handle. The daisy chains release and the raft drops from the cabin floor. The slide raft remains attached to the girt bar by means of a ditching line. In order to disconnect the raft completely, this ditching line must be cut by using the knife which is located next to it. The slide raft when used as a raft can take 44 passengers in a normal mode and 55 in overload condition. Boarding handles and stirrups are provided on both ends of the raft to allow evacuees to climb into the raft from the water. A heaving line ring is fixed on one side of the raft together with the sea anchor. An outside lifeline is installed outboard of the raft on both sides to permit people in the water to grasp hold. Two locator lights are installed on one left and right canopy stanchions. The power is provided from a water-activated battery. For canopy installation, 
the left and right stanchion located at the girt extension side of the raft must be released. The survival kit is attached to the girt extension of the raft and should be taken into the raft. The kit contains survival equipment for first aid, signaling, raft repair, canopy and canopy installation. A hand pump for manual inflation is provided in the survival kit and must be screwed to the topping off valves on the raft. Instructions for canopy installation are written on the side of the raft. First remove the canopy and the support mast from the survival kit. Screw the mast together. Erect the mast in the center of the inflatable and secure it to the Velcro patch. <laughs>